What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be playing one of the oldest courses in Kentucky. This course was actually designed and installed by Steady Ed Hendrick and his son. I think it's maybe the fourth or fifth course in the United States. Even with that said, this course is still not just easy. There's a couple holes here that can really eat your lunch if you let them. Hole one, I think, has been redesigned. Hole number seven, which my buddy actually got an ace on. I don't know how, because I rarely get up there for a two. So today, we're gonna definitely try to get a birdie on that hole. And hole two always eats my lunch, too. We're gonna try to get a long birdie there. Really requires a forehand off the tee, and I, and I don't have that. <laughs> so hang out, guys. Let's play nine. We're gonna talk disc selection, shot shapes, and just play nine holes of disc golf. This hole is actually a little hard to film. I'm trying to go through this gap that's kind of just dead straight and then highs are out to the left. Plays maybe like 220, something like that. But I've got to have something that'll hold a hyzer. So I'm going to throw two off the top. I'm going to throw a Prophecy, something a little bit more overstable. It's about like a fresh rock, maybe overstable buzz and then i have my go-to nxt element and it's flying more like just a regular buzz a little flippy but not too bad so let's see what we can do oh not gonna take that one <laughs> i think we're gonna have to concede the birdie Throw like a little forehand roller up in the, to the left with the chief. All right, warmed up for a little bit, so hopefully we're warmed up. Let me flip this. Oh, now. Just escaped with a par. Start a scorecard on you, disc. It's like nine in the morning and I'm already just drenched. Hole two is 256 feet off to the right and you wanna kinda just split these two trees. Very tight gap. Most of the time I throw a chief, which is kinda what I use for like a Mako shot. Maybe like a little shorter Mako. It is a putter, so it's a little slower, but I don't have a forehand. The real route is a forehand through this like left pocket. I throw a chief and just try to get lucky and get a little Anheuser out of it. Oh, <laughs> little sketchy. I've been trying to fix my drives lately. Been really working hard on driving with my elbow. Doing that, I've got a lot more power on my shots, but at the same time, they're going crazy. They're like spraying everywhere. So I'm hoping with today's round that I can not die. I'm hoping with today's round that I can get a few shots with power and accuracy. Now we got a big birdie potential. Play it legal guys. Put down my treasures of the forest mini. Since we're in the forest, this would be a great birdie putt. <laughs> so close. 45, 50 feet maybe. In Kentucky, that's what we call getting otter creeked. These are some of the oldest baskets in the state. On this course, even this putt is something that I almost put upside down just to make sure it stays in the basket. I mean, I was high and to the right. So I think my putt came in kind of here, a little more center and I think I would have got it. The cage on these is really short and they only have about half the chains that a regular basket has. These are the original baskets for this course. Put in in the 70s, had a pretty good opportunity to get a birdie there. That's a rare two look on hole two for me. I'm liking that chief route though. I think if I can maybe throw an element the same way and get it to kind of drift to the right, that would probably be the shot. I could get a little more distance out of it. Hole three is 178 feet, fairly short. I like to throw a Houdini kind of up to the right and let it just spike into the left. Really trying to lead with my elbow. Woo, that is gorgeous. That shot felt like I didn't have much effort at all on it. I was trying to make sure that I was leading with my elbow. I could tell the difference almost instantly. I think that's gonna be my new focus for smooth drives is just leading with my elbow, using my hips. I love that. This, that's a nice type 
type in. <laughs> I've been on the computer too much, guys. Oh man, this is a nice tap in. Loving this mulch too. They must have put that down maybe in the past week. I really wish I had a forehand and that would be the shot. I tried to go through my little like tight gap the other day and it turned out pretty disastrous. So 10 out of 10, most of the time I park that hole going through this little wide right gap. They're shooting one under. This is 166 feet. The Gannon Burr would just putt this. There's a lot of trees in the way though. I'm gonna probably try to throw an Anheuser with a wizard. You guys are set up kind of on the corner just so that you can see me and the basket. I will show you guys how wooded this tee shot is though, just so you get an idea. I think that's gonna be all right. My wizard shot didn't do too bad. Otter Creek is one of those courses that you just, you wanna do really good at. Like this front nine, I'm really wanting to finish it like five under, just because every hole is kind of short and obtainable. Woo! Man, I hate putting that hard on these. So now we've made it to hole five. I'm gonna throw my Jenkins Assassin, I think. We've birdied the last two holes. So that's, we're starting a pretty good little streak. Most of the time, I really want to birdie one, three, and four. That's kind of the main ones. If I'm doing pretty good, I'll, I'll birdie those. Hole five is kind of up in the air. Sometimes I throw a really great drive. I can get a birdie here. Most of the time, I'm playing this almost for par because it's so far uphill. I try to throw an assassin. I have thrown mid ranges and stuff at it before. Today, I'm feeling a little weak. So I'm gonna throw an assassin. It's like 260, but it's it's crazy uphill. That needed just a little bit more height, and I think I would have been up there putting for probably an easy two. But right now, we're gonna have to make a long putt for birdie, I think. So I'm focusing on a few different things with my drive. I think that is causing me to kind of throw a little crazy. I've got to try to figure out how to separate practice from play. Put my mini down. I'll take that. Not too bad. A little higher, like I said, and I would have flexed out a little bit more towards the basket, but uh, we may be able to make this work. Maybe a 50 footer, 45, about like what we had on hole two. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh. I was in the basket, guys. We were in the basket for like five seconds. <laughs> that would have been a rare two for me on this hole. <sighs> Tap in for par since I went here and then out, I think. <laughs> So that's par guys, you gotta put it in U-Disc. One of the extra challenges about this course, the baskets are from the original course design. So a lot of times you get a little unlucky, putters will jump out of the basket or just blow straight through the chain, stuff like that. Kind of an added difficulty to the course. <laughs> 260 feet, I'm gonna throw this salt and pepper element on a little bit of hyzer. Got another big putt opportunity. <laughs> oh, not like that we ain't. Probably another 40 footer. <sighs> you almost get afraid to putt here. <laughs> it makes your putting like your mental game for putting just go crazy because the baskets don't like to catch anything. You try to like putt softer and in doing that, you don't putt like you normally would. This makes it tough. I mean, we're still shooting two under. A lot of spider webs this morning. So this is a weird shot. This is the hole that my buddy aced. And uh, I'm just gonna highlight on the screen where the basket's at, cause it's hard to see the basket. I'm gonna throw a Houdini on kind of like a high flex Anheuser shot. I've really got to rip this to get it to go. Let's try a blade. Oh, I think that hit the tree right in front of the basket. Who knew that I would turn a Houdini over and it just stay in hyzer too much. That's what I'm talking about. Like my shots are all over the place because I'm trying to get a better 
snap on everything. Me and Jess are going to Ledgestone in a couple of weeks and I've got to get this fixed because I can't be throwing crazy. All right, just a little fluffy uh, hyzer shot with a wizard. I should be able to putt that. Otter Creek, you never know. All right, a little 15 footer. Woo! I don't know why I'm getting those to stick and not the uh, 40 footers. <laughs> you ever have those moments where you just feel like your disc golf game is clunky? That's kind of what I'm going through right now. My form feels so alien. Feels like I'm not even used to playing disc golf anymore. And it's causing me a lot of pain in my arm and my shoulder. And I'm trying to correct all of that. Trying to slow my footwork down. Work on throwing with my core and not my arm. We're riding the par train. We got two holes left to try to birdie out. And that will be four under if we could do that for nine holes. That's not terrible, especially for being 98% water at this point. Be throwing a prophecy. This is about 300 feet even. I'm gonna try to throw a little hyzer sweep over top of this tree to the right. It's a little short. I'm not getting any like snap. I think if I was putting good, then I would be shooting good today. My drives are not doing good today. The prophecy landed here. We've got probably another 50 foot putt. Put my mini down there. Think about going crazy, go in between this Y on like a little flex something like that not my best round at otter creek but not my worst so we're getting ready to be on the last hole of the front nine not mad about today and hopefully i can get a birdie on this last hole and make three under for nine it's not really what i want out of the front nine like i want to be probably four or five that gives me a pretty good chance at shooting about eight to ten if i play pretty good on the back nine because you got Birdie Alley that you should get three birdies in a row, kind of. We've got Ledgestone coming up in a couple weeks, like two or three weeks. And I've got to get my timing back to being good so that I can throw some of these wooded shots and, and distance shots with less effort. I think I'm just playing too tense, trying too hard. So I just ran ahead, set up my phone so we have a catch cam just in case I get an ace on this hole. Ooh, I wonder if basket cam got it. Hopefully we can get a birdie here. Woo, almost bounced right out. So that's nine holes at Otter Creek. Thanks for coming along, guys. If you enjoy this kind of content, I made a playlist. It's called Let's Play Nine, and that's gonna be on the screen right now. Have a great day. Stay in the fairway, guys. We gotta try to create an air conditioning unit to something i don't know it's so hot